What I love on vintage cars is going through the landscape, the nice scenery in an old car that really gives energy back to my life. Getting my first moped was a milestone because this was my first individual mobility. The need for mobility will always be there for many different aspects, many different reasons. How we move may change, but the basic fundamental need that's pretty much anchored in the human society. It started in the 90s when I decided to do my PhD in the field of photovoltaics, solar cells. I was fascinated about the idea that you can convert sunlight directly into electricity instead of using huge coal-fired or nuclear power plants. People of course support you, but others are very skeptic. But then years later, you look back and they switch their mind. For Infineon, innovation is in our DNA and uh, cars of the future will be clean, safe and smart. The semiconductor solutions are the key enablers to drive these mega trends in the automotive industry. To make the CO2 neutrality become true, we need to generate the electricity by renewables, predominantly wind and solar. And that is where our semiconductors come into play, increasing the efficiency and reducing the electric losses while converting the energy. Modern electronics really helps to reduce accidents and to make the car more safe. And if you talk about autonomous driving, microcontrollers are the core brain to make all these drive functions possible. Semiconductor manufacturing is very much demanding. Microcontrollers, uh, the manufacturing of that device can take six and more months. And the progress in the recent years has been tremendous. Semiconductors are crucial along the whole energy chain. So generation, renewables and wind, and then of course transmission and storage. In electrical batteries, you always need semiconductors for the conversion of the energy. But as long as we use uh, fossil fuels to generate the needed electricity, we have not the right solution. Focusing more on green energy for electrified cars makes perfect sense to me. The big challenge is power supply and infrastructure. You can get your gasoline full almost everywhere and changing the infrastructure, being able to supply then electricity, we need to have um, green energy available. Now the challenge of climate change gives us an additional purpose. So I find it quite rewarding that we can work on innovation topics which directly address climate change. I have a core belief that zero emission becomes a reality and we want to make sure that we use all the technology we have in Infineon to make that come true.